Hello everybody. So, I picked up an idea. This is the Cobalt. Let me see if I can find the description again. Cobalt to USB 3 to USB 3.1 adapter. And actually I bought two of them. Because um, I wanted to try it. Plus, when you're testing something new, sometimes it's good to have two of them at once. So, essentially what it is, it goes from this connector, which a lot of ASUS boards, I even heard some Gigabyte boards have. And you go back to here. You can see this a little bit better. It's got that connector to a standard USB 3.1. Whoops, to a standard th USB 3.1. Now, there is an issue with this, unfortunately, and I'm going to show you right here. You'll see on the motherboard the the actual one here for the ASUS. And give me a second, I'll pull up this. Is down here. That's it right there. And you can see I've been playing around with this. This computer is currently running. Up here is the USB 3.1. I apologize for the video, unfortunately the little camera I've got is acting up. Well, it's put wired differently and there's a bunch of people who've been having this issue. So, this is the adapter right here. And you'll find it on Amazon, the link's in the description if you still want to check it out, because it may work for you. Uh, I've heard some people with Gigabyte boards, even though they say ASUS board, they say some Gigabyte boards it works, some ASUS boards it works, but a lot of them don't, and here's why. It depends on how they wired them. From what I understand, this connector has not been standardized yet. So manufacturers are kind of free to do what they want. That's not good. I understand they're trying to get ahead of the wagon, but this is causing a lot of confusion within the market. It's upsetting because right now I've got two cables in the hopes of me trying to connect front USB heads and a card reader into one system, and I can't do it because this connector, I don't even know where to get the adapter. Thanks, Asus. Great board. Bad design. Either that or maybe this is bad design. I don't know. Uh, it, it's kind of wary. Essentially, it's keyed the right, it's keyed a specific way. You can see right there in the connection, there's a specific key. You can only fit it in one way, and it plugs into there. Unfortunately, when you plug it in, especially on this board, and this has happened to a lot of other people, is you plug it in, and say in the case of the front headers, one USB will have power, the other one will have the data. Because this was designed for a single port USB Type-C. That's the way it was wired. So when you try to wire it into a standard USB 3 or use this cable, it doesn't work. So be very, very cautious about buying this cable. I'm hoping this saves a bunch of people. It's going to be hit or miss, and I'm, I'm right now I'm going to say 20% of the time people are finding useful use for this. Unfortunately, at this point in time, I've tried it with two different motherboards, it's, but they're both wired the same. It's not going to work. So, unfortunately, it's the way it is. Um, I would like this to work, but unfortunately with this adapter, depending on whether you have, it's wired for a single port, which honestly, it's USB 3.1, it shouldn't matter, but that's currently the way it's set up. They have it set up where it's not wired. There's a different wiring for how you want to do it. And It, it's not working. Unfortunately, at this point in time, be careful of this cable. I kind of wish it would work, because in, especially in these builds, I was hoping to have the card readers and front USBs working. Unfortunately, I am not, unless I get another adap adapter cable and plug into the USB 2s in the back, which I was trying to keep this kit system clean. But, like I said, link in the description, you want to check out these cables. These may work for you, but uh, these need to work if you're USB type 3.1 connector was wired for dual, not single USB type C. If it's single, if your motherboard says for single USB type C, this will not work. If it was designed for two outputs, then there's a probably good high chance this will work. Hopefully, this helps help some people. Um, I was hoping so. The $20 cables, it's great for adapting USB 3 to USB 3.1, which effectively is the same bandwidth, just slightly different standard. Unfortunately, in this case, it's not going to work. So, sorry, just checking out stuff, making sure things worked. Um, so, hopefully, this helped a lot of people. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'd like to know what motherboards these actually do. If you guys want to, post in the comments of what motherboards these actually do work. Um, that way some people can get uh, some use out of them. I really hope they do. Um, unfortunately, the comments that I've read was just, I, it worked in my Gigabyte board, and that's all people say. They won't tell you exactly what model. So there's, 
unfortunately, it's hard to make a compiler list at this current time, and the manufacturer just puts for ASUS boards. Unfortunately, no, it doesn't work for all ASUS boards, especially like this one. This is the uh, B360 mortar. This cable does not work. So, if anybody has one in the list, send it to me. I'll definitely post about it. Anyway, love you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, have fun with them computers. <laughs>